Talk about a bag, go get the money. Mm -hmm. Count the cash, then back to the money. Put that up repeat. Alright, so what's good, everybody? Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back. If you haven't already, make sure you go ahead and subscribe to the channel. I got a lot of information for y'all. If you like what I'm talking about in this video, make sure you hit the thumbs up button so that YouTube can, you know, send this video to other people. But um, hope we got the camera angle and stuff. Doing a lot of stuff to get this video together. My uh, tripod and all that stuff get just um, broke, but we still about to get into it. Um, the main reason that I'm doing this video is kind of to talk to you guys about finances, stocks, and all that type of stuff. I'm not, um, what do you call it? I'm not the person who who is investing your money. I don't have some type of degree in it or anything like that in investing. So don't make your financial decisions based off me. This, is, this video is more so for entertainment purposes. But guys, I really want you to hear what I'm saying in this video. Um, I got a list on my phone right quick. Let's see here. Of the things that I want to talk about. I want to make sure I don't forget anything. Um, in this video, I want to talk about why I stopped making videos about the stock market. I want to talk about gold. I want to talk about Bitcoin. I want to talk about a few specific stocks such as Alibaba. I want to talk about Tesla as well as a few other things. I'm going to start off with, um, with the reasons why I stopped making videos pertaining to the stock market. Um, if you guys have been following my channels, I've had this channel as well as other channels um, talking about stocks and crypto and different financial education matters. Um, I stopped producing these videos about a year ago. I want to say the, in the beginning of 2021, I kind of stopped producing these videos. And I kind of stopped doing it for two reasons. The main reason that I stopped doing these videos is because if you saw my videos back then, I would have a lot of um, facts in the videos. I would show you guys like exact numbers, exact P ratio, exact prices for companies and stuff like that. And I enjoyed doing those things and showing you guys those things. But the only problem with that is it takes me a lot of time to go and find that information. So as a result, it takes me a lot. It took me a lot of time to produce videos. It would take me about maybe 10 minutes to record a video, but prior to recording that video, I would probably spend maybe an hour or so trying to get little clips from off the internet, trying to get those pictures cut, trying to put those pictures into the video at the precise moments and all that stuff. And it kind of made me, uh, it kind of tired me out from doing videos. Another reason that I stopped talking about the stock market is because I personally felt like the stock market was gonna have a big correction. And I felt like if I was to make videos about that, before that was shown, like before people could see that in the market, a lot of people would stop watching the channel. Or maybe not even stop watching the channel, but I would get a lot of comments uh, kind of going against what I, what I would be talking about or doing. And I don't mind that, it's just a lot of times when you're doing stuff and you're really focused on things, you really don't want distractions or people negatively commenting on what you're doing. And with what I had going on at the time, um with me moving back to georgia and all that stuff it was a little bit too much at the time so i just decided to completely you know stop doing the videos with the stock updates and everything but i do plan on um and that's the good news about this video i plan on coming to you guys with more videos hopefully like on a daily basis but the videos moving forward will probably have less of the facts like proven in the video you guys can go get those facts on your own by all means fact check everything that i say because i could be slightly wrong on something or you know who knows what but um i just won't be putting as many of those um research links directly in the video myself this kind of brings me to the next thing that i want to talk to you guys about um with the markets the way that they are i've kind of slowly been um been hedging my bets on the stock market not necessarily with um shorts or anything like that on stocks but i've been kind of buying um a little bit of gold and a little bit of crypto as as a means to ensure myself if that makes sense the way i view it um with the stock market the way it is is kind of at its all-time high i feel like if the market is to drop some more than likely gold would probably go up i feel the same way for bitcoin and um i kind of felt that way at the beginning of the year um before this whole inflation thing really kind of hit hard i was already having these thoughts and now that people are um, scared about inflation they're scared about the evergreen situation in china they're scared about the whole um sit you know situation that's causing everybody to have masks i don't want to say say the name of it but all these things um 
I feel like are going to have a, a good effect on, on gold and crypto. I don't want it to be that way because I know that means uh, I, I, that's, that's a bad thing for a lot of people. If people are getting sick, if people are losing money, that's bad for a lot of people. Um, so I didn't really also want to speak on that too much in the videos that I'm making, but I do see this being a, a great opportunity for metals and the crypto space, um, especially for metals. Um, I have a good friend of mine, me and him, we have debates almost daily about metals and crypto. I do personally think that they're both going to go up. Me personally, um, I do believe in the metals a little bit more than crypto. I think a lot of people right now are buying crypto off of hype. And once that hype is over, I do, I do believe that the metals are going to um, surpass the gains that we're seeing now with crypto. But like I said, I'm not mad at any bit about the people who are making gains on crypto. Right now, I still plan on buying a little bit of gold before the prices go up too much. Um, anything under $2,000 at the moment of the recording of this video seems pretty decent to me. Like I said, to me, um, as far as crypto goes, it's a little high right now, but I do plan on uh, buying a little bit of Ethereum, a little bit of, uh, a little bit more Bitcoin, just like I said, to kind of hedge what I'm doing with stocks, to hedge what I'm doing with gold and other things. Um, aside from gold, Bitcoin, you know, and other cryptos, not the altcoins, that's a whole nother video. But um, aside from those things, I do also believe that right now is a good time to invest in Chinese markets. The reason that I think right now is a good time is because everybody, all investors are right now kind of saying, don't do it. There's a lot of uncertainty um, involved in China. Um, they're having the, er the Evergrande situation is going on, which is, um, a big, well, kind of a big disaster in their um, housing market. I personally do believe that that's going to affect the United States. Um, I, but, but going back to what I was saying with, with the Chinese companies, um, I do believe that even though China, Chinese companies are being hit right now, I think there are some great companies, companies such as Alibaba, uh, JD, and a few other country, companies. I'm sure you guys have heard of them. I personally plan on um, going back to invest in Alibaba right now. It's an it's a, it's it's an amazing company. Um, I like kind of everything that they're they're doing. Uh, I know a lot of people in the United States, especially based off United States media, um, are kind of worried about what China is doing with their companies, being that we're kind of outside looking in. But um, I'm going to I'm going to take a bet on a few Chinese stocks, specifically Alibaba. Not too much, maybe about five. 10% of my portfolio, maybe even less, I don't know, but I do want to put a little bit in Alibaba. Outside of Alibaba, I want to put a little bit of money in, um, what is it called? There's one ETF, excuse me, it's a Vanguard ETF. If I'm not mistaken, the ticker symbol is VWO. It's like an emerging markets um, ETF where it has a lot of Chinese stocks and um, like um, stocks from different companies, the major stocks from different Emerging, emerging countries, um, Brazil, China, and a few others. Um, check it out if you get a time. Like I said, I'm gonna kind of stop putting all of the resources directly in the video, but definitely go check that out. Um, let's see here, what's the next thing that I wanna talk about in this video? Um, the last, uh, I don't see how I forgot about this one. The last thought that I wanna mention is Tesla. Um, I'm also going to start back buying in on Tesla. If you guys watched my videos in the past, you know that I invested in Tesla real, real early um, before the stock split. I think when it was like at $180, like I said, before the stock split. Um, I invested in that once the stock split happened, I think around the time of the split, I sold my Tesla stock to take some profit. Um, it's been a little, little while since I've purchased any of the stock. But um, since the beginning of the year, the stock is down about 40%. If I'm not mistaken, the stock was at about $900, almost at $1,000 at one point in time. Then it dropped all the way back down to about 600. And then it's, um, if I'm not mistaken right now, sitting at about 700. I haven't necessarily looked at Tesla today or yesterday, so I don't know the exact price. Go ahead and find out you guys. But I'm, I'm definitely going to jump back aboard the Tesla train. Um, from what I'm hearing, they're kind of coming, uh, moving forward with autonomous driving. I hear that that may be released soon. Um, I'm trying to, I'm looking forward to some of their newer vehicles, the semi trucks, the pickup trucks, maybe some new cars and stuff coming soon. 
Um, also, their artificial intelligence um, division, I, I see that possible, well, potentially doing well in the future. I see their sunroofs potentially doing well in the future. Um, as a matter of fact, if I'm not mistaken, places like uh, California, they have a thing where if you're building a new house, you have to have sunroofs on it. So with stuff like that, you know, starting to be enacted in different places, I think the, the need for um, solar roofs, solar panels, um, is going to increase and with Tesla being one of the major companies in that market I think they're going to do well um, I've been hearing about the auto artificial more I've been hearing more about artificial intelligence with Tesla I've heard that they've been coming out with a robot and some more stuff and um, that's that's another thing that's piquing my interest with them I'm not fully investing based off that being that I don't know much about it yet but it's it's kind of raising my ears towards Tesla again um, there was something else that I wanted to mention about Tesla. Oh yeah, right now, uh, around the world, if I'm not mistaken, uh, Australia's dealing with it. I know China's dealing with it. I think India's dealing with it. But a lot of companies have, are, a lot of countries and um, continents as a whole at this point are starting to have issues with power, power, power outages um, and ways to get electricity. Even um, I'm here in the United States, even on the West Coast, we're starting to have problems with electricity as um, certain dams and stuff are, are low due to droughts. Um, we're, we're able to pull less electricity from those means um, and we're now starting to have to rely more on um, alternative fuels. That, along with a lot of governments doing the push towards you know eco-friendly things and, and um, things that are friendly to climate change, I think Tesla at this point is kind of positioned perfectly to take off when it comes to their cars, their sunroofs, their um, artificial intelligence as a whole, and maybe even the electrical grid. Um, if, if they can come in and kind of make up for the gaps and the issues that we're seeing, I think Tesla has something revolutionary going on. So you know, to sum up, the, to sum up this video for you, for you guys, I think um, what I'm going to start doing is looking more into gold, more into metals, more into um, Bitcoin and other crypt major cryptocurrencies. I want to start looking at Tesla. I want to start looking at Alibaba. I want to start looking at some small cap stocks as well as um, stocks that are available in emerging countries. Um, I'm, I'm real tedious with stocks and everything right now, guys, and I advise you to be the, uh, to do the same and feel the same way. Um, like I said. I'm not an expert, so don't make your financial decisions based on me. These are just my thoughts, my ideas for your entertainment. If you like what I'm saying, if um, if you want to see more videos from me, make sure you subscribe. If you've already subscribed, thank you. Um, like the notification, hit the notification button. If you want more videos, hit the like button so that YouTube can you know show my videos to other people. If you have any questions or comments, leave them down below. Um, I guess I'm gonna start doing a question at the end of every video. And my question for you guys in this video is what is your target price on gold, one ounce of gold before the end of 2021? There will be a phone ringing in the end of my video to mess it up. But uh, if you guys can excuse that, have a great day. Glad you guys came. See you in the next video. How about a bag? Go get the money. Count the cash and back to the money. Put that on repeat. Go get the bag. Go get the bag.